Well, hello, C++ programmers and fellow game developers. Brian Malloy here, and today we're going to talk about how to use Texture Packer to collate images um, for an animation into a single image and to generate a plist list that will provide Cocos 2DX access to each of those frames of animation. And in the next video, I'll show you how to animate um, that that image. So what I have here is a pterodactyl, Peter 1, Peter 2, Peter 3, and Peter 4. And I'm going to collate all four of these images, collect them into a single image. And ultimately we want to do an animation. Let me show you what I have in mind. So let me just bring this up. So what I have is this is Peter 1, Peter 2, Peter 3, and Peter 4. And if I do this, watch, I get a kind of animation. And that's what we'll, pre we'll produce in the next video. But for now, we're just going to collect all of these four images into a single image using Texture Packer. And once we've done that, then we'll generate, I'm sorry, we'll generate a plist to provide access to that. Okay, so let me start by, uh, my voice is cracking, let me bring up Texture Packer. Now what you see here, we have the choice of choosing the pro version which costs not very much money but I'm pretty sure you don't want to buy it or the free version we're going to choose the free version now in choosing the free version you would think that texture packer would say well this guy has chosen the free version so therefore um, I'll uncheck all the optimizations it does not do that because it wants me to buy it probably so let me show you what I mean by that so let me just take these images I'm going to take uh, Peter 1, stick it in there, Peter 2, put that one in there, Peter 3, put that one in there, Peter 4, put that one in there that we want to eventually produce an animation with this. And then I want to simply collate these into a single image and after I do that, uh, into the single image, I want to generate a plist and all I have to do is publish this. So let me just say we'll put this right here and we'll call it Oh wait, let me just cancel that because I forgot something. We have to give the uh, ultimate texture file image that we're going to collect these all into a name and uh, and we're going to call it Peter. And you see that yellow thing right there? It's saying we've got to give it a .png um, suffix. Okay, so we've done that. And the next thing we want to do is publish this and we'll call it peter.plist. And I just want to show you what we get. Okay, so there are the error messages. The error messages say that there are five optimizations, extrude, advanced algorithm, trimming, that one and that one, that we have to turn off because even though Texture Packer knows we've opted for the free version, it doesn't care. It turns those optimizations on so it can cause the maximum amount of grief. Okay, and moreover, it did generate the plist for me and the single image. There it is. Some of them are red and what they say are buy the free the the professional version okay so how do we do this well we've got to turn the optimizations off uh, I'll probably get four out of the five because I'm terrible at this okay so let's just see let me show advanced okay so I'm showing advanced and so what do we got to do we've got to show PNG opt level to zero that was one of the ones we have to turn off good luck okay the next thing uh, we have to do is we have to d the detect identical we have to turn that off and um, the algorithm we have to turn this to basic because we we are so bad okay and let me just show you if we would go ahead and publish the sprites there till still two more we need to turn off extrude and trimming so let's turn those off good luck let's see there's the trim do you see the extrude of course not okay so trim we'll put none and now we're we, there's one more and extrude we'll make that be a zero okay now we can go ahead and we can generate and we're good to go so we did generate uh the p list let me show you each of these things so there's the p list that we generated let me see if i can bring this up so there it is as i said it's an xml file and this XML file simply describes where each of the frames of animation can be found within the single image. And where is the single image? Let me show you that. There is the single uh, image. And we're going to, in the next 
um, uh, video that I show you, we're going to pick these off one at a time. We'll we'll draw that one, and then that one, and then that one, and then that one. And I showed you how that'll make a fairly uh, smooth animation. So we've done it. We've actually used Texture Packer to um, to um, generate this single image that contains the four images that we want to use for our animation. Number one, and number two, we generated this. Uh, P list that is basically an XML file for from which Cocos 2DX can read where uh, within this single image right here where these start and stop and how to uh, do these four frames of animation. So should we buy the uh, professional version? I don't know because let me just tell you something. If you try to do something like the bears in here, let me just show you. This is uh, eight bears. I tried to do this and because these images are so large, um, you can see that, whoops, I have an extra image in there because I'd like to try to figure out how to do this one. But when I tried to put all eight of these images, Texture Packer did not like it with the free version. I ran out of space. So who knows? Maybe we'll figure out a way to, to resolve that. I just want to tell you there are limitations. Nevertheless, it's a great app. Uh, you can use the you can certainly use the free version to generate your single image and um, and really we can let Texture Packer manage the the images for us and in the next video I'll show you how to do uh, four frames of animation. Okay, that's the video. Good luck, happy programming, and happy gaming. Brian Malloy over and out.